Hello, May Queen here. Life after Monday. It's ten minutes to two. So I'll make this video and then I shall hopefully go for a walk because it's I say hopefully because it's sunny and it goes dark and it chucks it down with rain then it goes sunny again so do I take a chance and go out or do I just give up well I didn't go out yesterday at all so I think I ought to make the effort today and go and risk it um, so I shall go and tramp across the fields whatever the weather and uh, I've got a drink but it's not a coffee I've just eaten lunch actually just eaten a, um, a bowl of stew and now I've got some cider so cheers have you got a drink this is lovely so I'll tell you what it is I picked it up at Aldi <coughs> And um, I thought, oh, I'll give that a try. I do like cider, and I like fruity cider. But anyway, this is called, oh, I've got it all down the bottle, it's sticky. Um, Nordic berries. So, it, yes, it's sort of raspberries, blueberries, and berries. Vegan friendly. And... Uh, yeah, just trying to find what the ingredients are, but there's a whole long list there. But um, oh, Alas Al Alska, Alska, A L S K A, Alska means love in Swedish. Mm, so it's Swedish cider, and um, premium cider. It's very nice. So, I just had one bottle to try, but I think I might have some of that again. Cheers, have you got a drink? No coffee today. Cider. Oh, it's lovely. I could drink this every day, but I won't. <laughs> I won't. I don't drink a lot of alcohol. It's just for... Uh, it's just a treat now and then mm. now and again I can recommend that Nordic berries can't remember how much it costs them so anyway finish the picture I think um, showed you a, a little bit of this last time it's not a very big one, as you can see by my hand. It's not a very big picture. Um, it's called, well I think it's got to be called, Over the Hill. Like me. <laughs> I'm over the hill. And um, it's felt, and it's all shapes cut out and uh, stitched on, lots of embroidery stitches. I'll just uh, have a look at the front of the camera to make sure that you can see what I'm showing you. Whoop, yeah, I think that's about where I need to hold it. Like that. So, so it's on the board. This picture frame is um, something I, I can't remember where I got it from. Probably a car boot sale or a skip or charity shop even I don't know now I am going to put glass in front of it because I want it um, sort of squashed flat and but I haven't put the glass in yet because uh, you know of the reflections but um, the next th the finishing stage is to put the glass in so I'm going to take this out just to show you it's quite a nice frame, it's, it's a cheap frame, but it's dark blue, but it suits the picture. And there you are. So, I've made the picture more or less the same size as the board. There's the board. 
So what I've done is I've put some cotton to pull it tight and sort of lace it across the back. What I would normally do is make the picture bigger than the board and then fold it over and then pull it tight so that there's, so there's a, a little bit all the way around the edge. But I haven't with this um, because I wasn't sure about the thickness. I didn't want it to be too thick because I've got to get it in in the frame with the glass. So it is there's just a fraction bigger than the board. But I was able to use some cotton and stitch all around it and pull it tight. I want it to be pulled tight. And there you go. It's a folk art of course and uh, it's just totally made up. Um, so put the hill in first and put the sun there, just all made up. And these are lollipop trees. Can I remember I did something before with lollipop trees, a bigger picture with big lollipop trees. So I thought, well, I'll, I'll use that same technique uh, on a smaller scale. And I think it looks re really good. I like it. I like this simplistic art. Um, and I like clean edges and uh, yes I like that so I'm going to as I say it will go in the frame with the glass and then I've got to tuck it in oops hang on a minute that's it let's get it right let's get it right so yeah I quite like that it's just something I've quickly knocked up in a few days. Um, sometimes I feel like doing something small because I don't want it to be lingering on and on and on and then I might lose interest. So if I do something smaller and I can see how it's um, emerging, how it is coming together, that then spurs me on to carry on and get it done. So it's just glass to go in front of that and it's finished. Right, have you got a drink? Cheers! Nordic berries. I have got some other berry cider for also from Aldi in a tin, um, in a can and four, four in a pack and, and that's nice as well. This is slightly better, a bit more expensive. Mm, yeah. So this this week I had to do the shopping a bit earlier because I I was running out of things, so I didn't quite make the three weeks. Um, but not to worry. I went on. Um, what did I go? I went Monday night, and it's Thursday today. Anyway, I've had a go at painting, but I'm just no good at it. And so what, I, what I've done is trying to play with it, new idea, because I tell you what, once I get paint on a brush, well, you're a bit limited then as to how you can put it on your canvas or your board. You know, you can dab it or swipe it on with a brush. Then you have to have an idea of the picture you're going to paint before you start. Um, so I thought maybe a brush is just too inhibiting, if you see what I mean. Not enough options with a brush. I know there's different kinds of brushes. Um, very thin narrow ones and really big bushy ones but I thought right I'm going to try and do away with a brush so what I got was this this is my sort of rag that I use for and it's all stuck together with paint you see cleaning brushes but what I did was I cut some strips off and wrapped them into bundles like that wrapped them around tied them up and then I used those to dab paint on. So, so I just sort of 
splodge, 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 splodge. See what happens next. <laughs> and then I thought, well, do I go completely abstract or what? I'm not a fan of abstract because it sometimes I've just, do you know, I've just watched somebody on there do abstract picture, big, two big boards, big ones, and she put on that many layers of paint and I'm thinking how do you know when to stop um, and she just sort of swipe it here swipe it there splodge oh put that there put that there different colours mix it up and I mean the, the video was speeded up but uh, at the end of it I thought well, do you know, I, I would have stopped painting long before she did because I thought her, you know, the, the first sort of 10 minutes of painting she did was was actually quite good. But she just carried on and covered that with more paint. So anyway, I can't quite understand the, the, the abstract art thing. But anyway, so I've got these. And I thought, well, I'll make a bit of a landscape. Hey, don't laugh, don't laugh. I've got this, I've got this board, but don't laugh. <laughs> I started off by, I'm not showing you the tree. I've got a tree. <laughs> well, there's a landscape, and there's green, and the sky, all done with those two bits of rag. <laughs> and then I thought, well, what else? What else is there? I thought, well, I suppose I'll have to put a tree in. But um, my tree is, well, pretty boring, actually. <laughs> a boring tree. But I gave, I gave up too soon, you see. I thought, just brown on a brush. Oh, yeah, that's a tree. Uh, but there's something missing. There's something not right about it. Sky is not too bad. The green bit is not too bad. But I need to just keep putting something else on it. And I don't know. I'm not very good at painting. <laughs> I must admit. I'll be better off really sticking to my um, fabric. My textiles. Um, yeah. You know, such as wool. I can use wool, I can do weaving, um, you can use textile strips for weaving, there's loads you can do with textiles. Um, so do I give up with the painting or do I struggle on? I might have another go, I do give up too soon though. I expect miracles quite quickly. Yeah, um, I don't know. I've got no patience. Well, I say got no patience. If I see something good in the beginning that could be good in the beginning and it starts emerging as could be good, then I'll perhaps carry on with it. But if I spend like a couple of hours on painting on a board and I'm thinking, well, that's actually crap, to be honest. <laughs> Um, I really don't feel like carrying on. But anyway, uh, Nordic Berries, give it a try. This is my advert. <laughs> I've got to think of the next project now. I've got things, things that I can be working on. Anyway, we'll um, maybe wrap it up now. And... Uh, I'm going to, it's just gone 2 o'clock, it's uh, still got blue skies but the clouds are skidding past at a fast rate and within minutes it can just go black and, and have an almighty downpour so, but I think really I must, I must get out. Um, thank you, it's, thank you for popping in, it's me Queen here, I like after money. I'll lay my shop out here and you can have a look. <laughs> mm. 
my very basic awful picture which I shall probably put away somewhere and forget about it and then in maybe a year or two years I might find it again or I might put a bit more paint on it then again I might not <laughs> So here's my little painting sticks. I think that's actually quite a good idea, you know. It might be worth trying abstract and not having a landscape. Worked quite well. There's my picture. Ready for the glass to go on. Right, I'm off. I'm going to get my jacket on, get my little rucksack on and go for a walk. Bye!